Monsieur Pierre. Morning. Is uh, Platon inside, you know? Yes, I think so. Have you come for your shirt? Yeah. Is it finished? I'll just find out. Platon! Yes! Laurence, yes, come for his shirt. Is it ready? Yes, yes, it's all finished. Just coming. It's coming, it's ready. Call, Monsieur Pierre. Yes. Do you think it's going to snow? Soon. It'll get much colder first, though. <laughs> I wish I was at home in France. <laughs> oh, I live in the south, you know, Cassis. Oh, it's marvellous weather down there. Isn't it, Thomas? Well, I don't know. I've never been there. Well, make a promise and stick to it. I said Friday, and here it is, all ready and finished. Now, how's that? Oh, that looks grand. <laughs> I'll try it on. Yeah, well, let me give you a hand, then. Okay. Yeah. Now, I don't say it's exactly a tailor's bench up there, but it looks a pretty good fit to me. What do you think, Monsieur Pierre? Marvellous, just out of that piece of cloth. <laughs> oh, look at those seams, eh? They last your lifetime. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> Uh, there must be some material left over out of this, eh? It's, uh, it's very good. Oh, here's the money I owe you. Oh, thank you, thank you. Uh, the pieces, Plateau. Uh, what do you think of it, Pierre? Wonderful. Uh, the, the, the pieces that are left over. <laughs> Turn round and show the corporal. Marvellous. Uh, it's wonderful. But uh, the pieces, Plateau. Oh, the pieces. <laughs> I nearly forgot. Thank you. And... Uh, Thanks for the shirt. Oh, thank you for the money. <laughs> oh, here, you keep them. <laughs> here. Thank you. <laughs> what do you make of that? They call them easels. He hasn't got a rag to his back. But yet he gives me these. I don't know. Oh, what do you make of it all, Platon? It's Laurent. Doesn't want to be here. He'd rather be at home in France. We don't want him here. Yet here he is, with thousands of others. Well, birds fly south in the winter, and from time to time, men want to be on the move. What will he do with those? Oh, these are coming handy for leg bands. I've got to keep the cold out. I'm not as young as I used to be. How old are you? Oh, I don't rightly remember. Don't you want to know? No, oh, what difference does it make? You don't know how old you are, do you, old lad? <laughs> Of course, it's different for you. You're an educated man. You can't help wanting to know everything. I think you know more than I will ever know. Oh, no, no, sir. That's not true. Yes, it is. It is well, true. I can't even speak French. I can't even read. <laughs> no. But you know your place in the scheme of things. And I don't. Mm. At least I didn't until I came here. Well, this is no place for anybody. Well, certainly not for you, but for me, I don't know. You see, I've never really known what my life was. I searched everywhere for it. What was I looking for? Peace of mind, inner harmony. I tried everything, Freemasonry, dissipation, philanthropy, love, romantic love. And I found nothing. I mean, nothing to be called what those ordinary soldiers had at the field of Borodino. Until I came here. This is the last place on earth I would have looked for it. Well, I, I don't rightly understand what you're saying, sir, but I got a feeling you do. Well, I suppose you... I mean, you can think too much about life. Uh, in a strange way, this interferes with the living of it. Yes, that's true, that's true. A thinking man is seldom a happy one. Self-consciousness, you see, Platon, that ruins us. Self-consciousness. It's that consciousness of oneself that separates us from life, from the scheme of things. And also it makes us painfully aware that we're not part of them. See, now, that dog doesn't have self-consciousness, does it? In a way, neither do you, really. I do love to hear you talk, sir. No, 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 no. I'm talking to myself, really. Uh, nothing that you can learn. You've never really been foolish enough to set yourself apart or to imagine that you had some special role to play in life. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> 
Shall I tell you something funny? Yeah, I, I like a laugh. Who doesn't? Do you know why I stayed in Moscow? Mm. I stayed in Moscow to assassinate Napoleon. I worked out abstruse calculations from the apocalypse. All in order to convince myself that I was the chosen one. Oh, well, that is funny, sir, but it don't seem like you. No, it wasn't me. Any more than Freemasonry is me, or philanthropy, or any of those other self-conscious activities. Life! Life is the minute-by-minute minute living of it. That's all, isn't it? And loving all things. That's what you do, isn't it? Well, I, I don't seem to find much harm in most things. No, 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 no. You love everything. The French, that dog. Your comrades, even me. Well, not even you, sir. Especially no, you. No, 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 not especially. Because if we were to part tomorrow, your grief wouldn't exactly numb you, would it? No. Oh, nor should it you, sir. Trouble lasts but for an hour. Life goes on forever.